up all my fight fans so i want to ask you guys something coach javier the head trainer for um is on makachev i believe he did an interview or i'm not sure who he said this to but he mentioned about how he feels that Javi, uh, excuse me, Islam is shouldn't be number two pound for pound. Now, of course, this is his guy. He feels like he's going to be pound for pound. But he feels that being number two this soon is just a little bit like a little bit too soon. You know, it's a little bit too soon for him to be that second pound for pound guy. So I want to ask you guys regarding that. Do you feel um, Islam Makhachev should be number two? Personally, I don't feel it, but I see why. They did it. I can see why they um, probably have him at number two because I um, you got to think about marketing as well. I know there's marketing. You got to think about the fact that he did beat uh, Charles Oliveira, who I believe was number two as well. So that probably just you know he beat him, took his spot. He's un he's been undefeated for quite some time. So I guess there's a reason why. But my main important reason is probably possibly marketing. You know because marketing you got to remember. You know, you got the number one pound for pound guy, uh, um, Alex Volkanovsky, and then you got the number two now pound for pound uh, is Amahachev. So you got both of these guys together, and now, <clears throat> now it's like number one versus number two. Who's going to be the pound for pound number one best fighter in the world? It's very rare you guys get that. You know, you're very rare. Sometimes you get a heavyweight. Sometimes you have a flyweight. Sometimes you have a banner weight. You have a light heavyweight. You got all these different mixtures of weights where they cannot face each other, where they cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe and find out, okay, let's see who's number one. Of course, we all know that one, the pound-for-pound -pound list doesn't really mean anything because at the end of the day, if there's a heavyweight on that pound-for-pound -pound list, more likely he's just going to wipe everyone off. Wipe everyone off. That's it. Like, no, no, you're you're, you're done. You're gone. You know, Francis Ngannou is going to go over there. He's going to see Volkanovski. He's going to see Islam. He's going to be like, yeah, both of you guys, you think you're pound-for-pound? -pound? Let me show you who's pound-for-pound. -pound. So, that's just all pretend, but we're trying to say like who's doing better at this time. That's I guess that's the only reason why you can see about who's pound for pound at that at that moment. So with that being said, yeah, I can see why they would put Islam as pound for pound because you got, um, like I said, he just beat Charles Oliveira, who is number two, and you got Volkanovski, who is challenging Islam Makachev in February. For a pound for pound, knife for pound for pound for the lightweight title, but this could also be for pound for pound as well. And like I said, there's very few times where people get actually challenged for that. You know, some guys always the number one, number two, or number three are in different weight classes. Now there's a chance where we can actually find that out. Um, but do I feel like if they weren't fighting each other? Uh yes and no. More likely no. I feel like uh Leon Edwards should be up there too, you know, with his knockout win. Um <clears throat> um, Francis Ngannou, but Francis Ngannou has been relatively inactive. Um, you know, he hasn't really been fighting all that much. He fought this year once, and then he fought once the last year. So I feel like Leon Edwards has been putting in a lot of work. Um, not as much, but just that win that he had was very impressive. So you could definitely put him up there as well. Um, Alex Pereira, not so much right now, only because of the fact that, you know, he did be easy, but he's not super active himself either at this moment um you know as far as regarding the ufc you know he hasn't really dominated you know to me pound for pound is about like how much you're dominating how great you look that's why they have john jones right there too you know john jones if he comes back he beats curtis blades at heavyweight or anybody else they put in front of him um i could definitely see why he would skip the line and be number one again because like name another dominated champion name another person that has been dominating anybody and everybody you know you could say Islam, sure, um, but Islam just got the title. He's been dominating his fighters, but he just got the title. So he hasn't really defended it. He's going to defend it the first time. Volkanovski is a definitely a uh, good recommendation for being number two if John Jones ends up being number one. Um, just due to the fact that, because look at how long he's held that title. You know, he beat Max Holloway, and he's just been defending it left and right, nonstop. And it's, had, it's come across quite a few good matches. You know, two fights uh, against Max Holloway, dominated him in that third fight. Dominated Korean Zombie, uh, pretty much dominated, almost got caught with Brian Ortega. So, yeah, you know, these were, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to pound for pound. Um, so, Islam, I'm sure, is going to have that. You know, he, I feel like he is going to hold on to that title for quite some time. But um, you still got to just, 
you still got to put in the work. So I can see where Javier is coming from. I can see what he's trying to say regarding that um, that status of him being number two. Because he is putting the work to be uh, at the top of his division. But as far as pound for pound overall, I feel like other guys have put in a lot more work. Especially with winning the championship and um, defending their belt multiple times. So especially looking like Algerman Sterling has already defended his belt. A um, couple of times as well. So I feel like he should be in the mix as well. Uh, so yeah, that's what I feel, guys. What, tell me what you guys feel and let me know what you think. Do you feel like Islam should be number two or do you feel like he should be further down the line? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.